It is breakthrough Canadian research that could help save lives after a heart attack. And the key may lie in one little cell. Joining us now is the lead researcher behind this study, Justin Denisette. Good morning to you. Good to have you with us this morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So you found this cell in the pericardium, which is the sac, as we know, of fluid that surrounds the heart. So let's say I have a heart attack. What could this cell do? And so what we've discovered is these cells that just live in the sac that surround your heart actually have the ability, after you have damage to your heart, can actually move from this cavity into the actual heart tissue itself. And what it does is it actually... Uh, reduces the amount of scarring you have in the heart. And that's one of the, the major issues after you have a heart attack is your muscle is replaced by scar tissue and the scar doesn't doesn't beat. And so it makes the, the heart work that much harder uh, to actually pump the blood to the rest of the body. How did you figure out that this cell even existed? So we've known that the this cavity around the heart existed uh, for a long time. Uh, the problem is uh, when we model this in, in different animal models is people were just removing the pericardium during the procedure. And so they're completely overlooking its potential contribution. So what we did is we just made a slight modification to this modeling and actually showed that if you keep the pericardium or the cavity intact, you actually see much better healing in the heart. And then we took it a step further and showed that one specific cell um, is very important for this healing process. So how could this uh, change your understanding of the pericardium and really its uses? So I guess one way to highlight uh, how, how much how much we uh, would discard it uh, uh, liter literally. So when cardiac surgeons um, go in in open heart surgery, they actually remove all of this fluid when they go in to access the heart, and they don't ever put this fluid back in. Hmm. Well, in, in essence, they're basically throwing it in the garbage and uh, removing any potential benefit it, it may have had. And so identifying a particular cell that's healthy for the heart after, after damage, such as a heart attack, uh, we now are starting to maybe rethink of what other things could be in, the, in this fluid that could be helpful. Um, and so I think it opens up a lot of avenues. So you mentioned some animal testing. I understand you've tested the benefits in mice. So what happens yeah. now? Where do you go from here? So right now, the I mean, the eventual goal is to bring this uh, to, to human patients. I mean, that's the ultimate goal. Uh, so right now we have to develop strategies and how we can do this. So whether this means increasing the number of these cells in, in the cavity in a human, either by uh, transferring them, <laughs> Or alternatively, it's figuring out the molecules that these cells make that can have the effect on the heart. And so can we package that up into medicines where we can deliver it to patients that have had a heart attack? And so these are the things that we're exploring right now. Uh, we've we still got some work to do, but uh, it's a good first step uh, in the right direction, I think. Absolutely. And absolutely fascinating, Justin. We appreciate your time this morning. Thanks for explaining it to us. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.